be thankful. Be thankful for the fact that we found a way for the university to move forward. Our faculty, our staff, our teams at the university have found ways for our institution to move forward through the great pandemic. We found ways to accelerate innovation. We found ways to improve our teaching and learning environment. We found ways to keep the university moving forward, not missing anything. I want to say thank you to the students who have persevered, who have worked their way through this. But with all of that thankfulness, I also want to just ask all of you to just remember for a second all of the pain, all of the hurt, all of the suffering that so many people have experienced in this pandemic, people that can't be with us here today, people who weren't able to come to college, people whose families were so disrupted that they weren't able to stay in college, people whose businesses were, were unsuccessful in making the transition or didn't make the transition at all. Let's take a moment just to be mindful of them, mindful of all that we've been through as a country, all that we've been through as a state, all that we've been through as a, as a university. So just take a moment to be thinking about others. Given where we are, I want to offer a particular thank you to the ASU faculty and staff who are here who worked tirelessly every minute of every day since this thing began who were able to adapt, to adjust, to innovate, to persevere, to keep everything moving. So I'd like everyone on the staff of the university, the faculty and the staff, just to stand up to be recognized by everyone else for making this all happen. Thank you. Thank you. Our faculty and our staff have adapted, they've adjusted, they've invented, they've created, they developed high-speed tests for testing for COVID and deployed it with high-speed robots. They uh, developed ways to give vaccines to over a million people, testing over a million times. Unbelievable service to the community. And so I'd also like to thank all of you that were a part of doing everything that we could to not only keep the university moving forward, but be of greater service to the broader community here in Arizona writ large. So I want to thank you for all of that also. those of you that are visitors, particularly those of you that, like myself, come from a family where no one had ever gone to college and you thought that college was for people that couldn't get jobs. <laughs> Some people up here are laughing. <laughs> a college is a lot more than that. This is a place where we bring together thousands of faculty members, tens of thousands of staff to support those faculty members, literally hundreds of thousands of learners. Every tool, every technique, every technology, every means that we have to help a person to basically become a master learner. Our undergraduate students, people often say to me, you're graduating these people and they, they don't know how to do the job, the exact job I need them to do. Well, they wouldn't have needed to go to college if they could do the exact job that you need them to do. They went to college not to do that exact job. They went to college so that they had the capacity or would have the capacity to learn anything become a master learner. So the thousands of people that are graduating with us today, I hope that they have been empowered to become master learners across all the subjects that exist, all the knowledge that we can bring together, all the means to enhance learning that we can bring together. And that's really what we've done here. So welcome to ASU, which is very much a, a, a knowledge and create creativity city, a place where people come together to empower learning, to perform the learning process, to enhance creativity and discovery and to make all these things happen. And so I just